Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Um, uh, this was a problem requested by a student, so we're going to go ahead and do it. And hopefully it helps you guys out as you guys prepare and study for the test and do the homework. So let's get started. So the walls of a 20 foot long by 181 foot wide room with a 9 foot ceiling are to be painted. The room has a 5 foot wide by 7 foot wide high, uh, 7 foot high, sorry, entryway and two windows each measuring three feet high by three feet wide. What is the area to be painted? So what I'm going to do first is uh, take a look at these and I'm going to draw each of the walls and the ceiling separately. It didn't say anything about the floor. Uh, though we know the size of it, we can just assume that it's not going to be painted. So I've kind of drawn a box for us to see exactly how this is working. <clears throat> uh, the black part of that box would be the ceiling and then we have this front side which kind of represents the longer part of the room that 181 feet and then this side here represents 20 feet so I'll label these now so now that I have all these labeled I'm just going to indicate that the height here is 9 feet so this height also would be 9 feet and same with this height this is 20 feet same with this side right here and then the 181 feet would be this long side, as I've already indicated. So, what we need to do is look at each of these rectangles individually. So if I look at the ceiling, it is a 20 by 181 foot ceiling. So, <clears throat> in order to know how much area will need to be painted on just the ceiling, I'm going to take both of those and multiply them together. And that gives me an area of the ceiling, which is 3,620 feet squared. Now what I'll do is I'm going to look at this front side right here. Okay, that's a 9 by 181 foot rectangle there. So we'll find the area of this wall, which is 9 times 181. And that gives me 1,629 feet squared. Now something else we'll need to remember is that we have two of these, right? So in addition to that 1,629 feet squared, we have a second wall with the same measurements on the other side of that box. So we have three surface areas now representing three faces of this room, essentially, or box. So we need to look now at the smaller rectangle, which would be this side rectangle and it is duplicated on the other side of the box as well. So this rectangle is a 9 foot by 20 foot square, or rectangle rather. And so to find the area, we're going to multiply the 9 and 20. And that gives me 180 feet squared. But remember, there's two of these, right? So we'll need another 180 feet squared. From this, we now have five faces of this room, or we could just call this the ceiling and then the four walls. And if we add all of these, we'll have the total surface area. But we'll need to go back after we find that total and subtract the entryway and the two windows. We'll take care of that when we get there. Let's go ahead and add uh, the square footage of these surfaces, though. So this calculation is for the total surface area, not including the entryway and the window, so we'll have to take those off again. Let's go and add these up. And right away I get 7,238 square feet. So let's look first now. We're going to look first at the entryway. It's a 5 foot by 7 foot entryway. So maybe on this one it would look, uh, it would look pretty small, right? We have a doorway like this, and I'm going to redraw it out here so that we can calculate and uh, assign the values of the length and width to that rectangle. Now of course when I've drawn this notice it's not really proportional to the ceiling or the two walls and that's okay we just need something here so that we can identify the length and width and this doorway is seven feet by five feet so to find the area of that doorway which I'm going to subtract we don't need to paint the doorway I'm going to take seven times five and that gives me 35 square feet. Notice I've also 
uh, alternated between feet squared and square feet, they are the same thing. And in this problem, we can look right away and subtract this 35. But I'm going to do all it all at once. So I'm also going to look at the windows as well, which were 3 by 3 windows. So I've drawn my window here. We could draw them on the picture as well. There's only two of them. So when I want to find the area of that window, I have a 3 by 3, which gives me 9 square feet. But there's two of these, so I, I can list it twice as well as 9 feet squared. And I would subtract these two 9's from our grand total of area that needs to be painted. Now some of you may be wondering why I put it on this uh, specific wall, because it didn't matter. All it, it said is that there are two windows each. Okay, so uh, it just means that there's two windows in the room, not two for every wall. So let's go ahead and calculate this. 7,238 square feet minus 35 minus 9 minus 9. And so the final area that I get is 7,185 square feet. And that would be the total surface area that needs to be painted on this wall. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this has helped you guys out. If you like the video, please comment and subscribe below and like the video. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.